One-year-old Jack Russell Terrier Buddy isn't interested in being friends with anyone. He actually came up to me one time and bit my knee and broke the skin. Or anything. Can Victoria channel his instincts in a better direction? Leave it. Uh, up. Or will Buddy end up with even more blood on his paws? This is much more serious than even I first thought it was. I'm sorry. While Linda Kay is annoyed by Buddy's disruptions, Sean is more laid back. It's funny. I think it was funny. I it's think it was still, cute. It's just too funny, and then I think that's part of the problem, because I just can't take this little critter serious. And I can. My dad laughs at Buddy when he does something bad, and my mom gets really mad. On Halloween night, Buddy, we couldn't find him anywhere in the house, so we thought he was with the cat somewhere. So I went upstairs into the playroom, and he was with, on the ground with the cage knocked over, eating my gerbil. <gasps> I was just so devastated. I couldn't really think at all. Katie was so upset with Buddy and didn't want us to keep him. And you know, I did try to explain at that time, well, it's his nature. Because Buddy is a Jack Russell Terrier, he is genetically predisposed to want to chase and kill small fluffy things. So you have to be extremely careful if you have other animals in the household. Back at home, Buddy has launched yet another assault on one of his biggest foes. It used to be a game. It was a game at first, but he um, mm -hmm. I poked a few holes in the ceiling because I'm just trying to get it away from him. Mm -hmm. Oh, this, this Buddy. is a good... But this is a good game. I really dread cleaning now. But I think that Sean many times thinks that a lot of these bad behaviors are quite funny. So he'll encourage him. Oh, oh, oh dear. You can't shut the door because he's killing. <laughs> Buddy sees the sweeper as just another furry animal. He cannot contain himself. Buddy's behavior may be a joke to Sean, but there's one person in the family who is definitely not laughing. Oh, hi. Can I talk to you? Sure. Can I ask you a few questions? Yes. OK. Well, have you ever been scared of Buddy in any situation? I have been scared of him. He actually came up to me one time and bit my knee and broke the skin, and it did bleed. And it did bleed. Buddy, of course, had eaten Katie's gerbil. That's bad enough. But then she told me something that really worried me, Buddy. He growled at her, and then he bit her on the knee, drawing blood. Now, if Sean doesn't think that's a problem, then I don't know where he's at, because Buddy has bitten his child. What you've been doing has been extremely inconsistent. You, Linda Kay, you're taking the behavior pretty seriously. It really worries you. Whereas you, Sean, are very complacent about it. Oh, you know, it's funny. The, and, and sure, of course, when you see a little puppy squeaking at the television or, or trying to attack the, 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 the mob, yeah, it's, it's kind of cute. For but a little then, bit. For a little bit. And then it gets a little worrisome because what you're actually doing when you are sweeping the floor, you are reinforcing that prey drive. Mm. And so by playing with him, that's actually making it okay to attack small fluffy things. And you already saw that with the gerbil. When Katie told me what had happened to her, mm -hmm. that put this on a whole different level. Right. This is much more serious than even I first thought it was. Right. If you ever had friends over that do have young babies, exactly. he must be put away. The fact that, it, it, you know, a young baby just might want to go up and play with him and then he'll do the same thing that he did to Katie. I'd be very concerned about what he could do. Now, when you think about it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you have every right to feel worried about that. It's very scary. It is scary. And um, that's why I want Sean to take it seriously. Me too. I was a bit shell-shocked hearing from Victoria, some tough words, but I, exactly what I needed to hear. No more complacency from you, Sean. Right. And that's going to help, buddy. It's something he so desperately needs. OK. 
Okay. Okay. Are you ready to start? I oh, am yeah. ready. Come on then. Victoria is ready to tackle his prey drive when it comes to cleaning the house. I wanted to teach Buddy that when I say leave stuff, that he has to leave it. I like the dog to think for itself. No point in telling him, good boy, telling him to leave it. Okay. Because he doesn't know what the word means. So let him think it out. How does he get this food out of my hand? Good boy. When he takes his nose away from it, he gets it. Okay. Now I begin to put the word to the action that he's doing. Leave it, good boy. I'm gonna make it a little harder for him. I'm gonna open my hand so he can see the treat. Leave it. Good boy. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. Leave it. Good boy. You have a very smart dog here. Now Victoria wants to apply the command to Buddy's nemesis. This is a really big stretch. The sweeper is the ultimate prize for Buddy. First, she attaches a leash so she can safely remove Buddy if she needs to. Leave it. Uh -uh. The scale of Victoria's challenge is immediately apparent. I pulled him away and asked him to leave it. As soon as I said that word, Buddy looked at me, and that's when he got a reward. Leave it. Good boy. I leave it. Good boy. It was amazing seeing Buddy and his little brain working. I've never seen him not attack the sweeper. Then Linda Kay takes over. Make it make that sound. Leave it. Good boy. That's a very good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Good. Very good. Very good. It took a lot of impulse control for Buddy to leave that sweeper. Leave it. He was amazing. Buddy was so good that I asked Linda Kay to take him off the leash. Leave it. Good. Buddy responded amazingly. It was unreal. Leave it. Good. Good. Great. Now, she takes the training outdoors to a local park where she has a surprise waiting for Buddy. This looks like fun. Jack Russells are initially bred to hunt small, fluffy things, and they're great at going down tunnels, going to ground. So I wanted to construct a whole system of tunnels that Buddy could go through and experience what it was like to be a real terrier. Well, I think it's important if you could find ways of being able to channel all his instincts into doing something fun. And I want to use the system of tunnels for him to find this monkey at the end. Okay, I'm gonna show him this. Now he's getting that scent. Yeah. Tail's awesome. starting to wag. I put duck scent on the toy. The duck scent was designed so that Buddy would be able to scent his way through the tunnels and finally get to the prize. All right, I'd like you to take that, please. All righty. And don't show him that you're putting it there. Put it okay. behind your back. I'm gonna let him go now, okay? okay. I love using smells in training because when a dog is using its nose to scent, that's flooding the brain with really good feelings. This is key in training for Buddy because he's a highly strung dog. So he needs all the help he can get to feel good. Come on, Buddy, this way. Come on, Buddy. Buddy. Good. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yes. Good. All right. Buddy took right to the tunnels. He just seemed to pick up on it right away. That's all harnessing that inner instinct, which I think is so important in a controlled way as well. So he gets all of his uh, out mm -hmm. on this. Sure. Allowing Buddy to work and enjoy being a terrier is really helping to establish a connection between himself and the family. If they do that, Buddy's behavior in the home is going to be much better. All right. Good boy, Buddy. I'm about to leave the family for a few days, but before I go, I have some homework assignments for them. We've been training Buddy to have more self-control, and you are really important in helping him to do that. I don't want to see Sean being complacent anymore. I don't want there to be arguments between the couple. And most of all, I don't want the family to give up. Can I get a sweep? Good, leave it. Very good. 
progress that we have made with the sweeper, to me, really is phenomenal. Leave it. Good boy. Good. OK, leave it. Good boy. He is absolutely losing interest in it every time we sweep now. Buddy, leave it. Good. Leave it. Good boy. Instead of chasing the sweeper, Buddy is using his terrier instincts in a more positive way. We've just started kind of taking pillows off the sofa and the chairs and just kind of making a tunnel system in our family room. Charles, call him down there. Call him, call him. Come Good boy. Ready. Well, let Come him just, let him run. Let him have Come fun ready. through it. And all four of us can get in there and get on our knees and, and kind of egg them on. Good boy. And Did he do it? Good. Good boy. And it's a wonderful way to get the kids involved with playtime. And it's still training time, uh, but it's something that we can do as a whole family. Sean has really stepped up to the plate, and he is so involved in the training and no longer Wait, complacent and sees how very important this is. Good boy! Oh. I definitely feel more comfortable around Buddy. He's not going to bite me anymore. I feel a lot more safe. There's no doubt that Buddy will always be a feisty little terrier. But now that the Quinn family are working with his instincts instead of against them, Buddy's become the lovable family pet I knew he could be.